all snake species have heat sensing pit organs, but those that do have the amazing ability to sense the radiant heat of their surroundings. So today we're going to talk about what species of snakes have heat sensing pits, what they are in the first place, and how they work. It's a common misconception that all snakes have heat vision, and that isn't true. Only the snakes that possess heat pits or pit organs are able to see the heat of their surroundings. For example, snakes in the Colubridae family, like this tricolor hognose snake, lack heat sensing pits. They just have their eyesight and their really good sense of smell to find their food. Heat sensing pits are also referred to as thermal pits, or I was taught in college that they're technically called pit organs, but they all refer to the same organ on a snake. It was originally thought that pit organs were used only to find prey items, but recent research suggests that they're also used to avoid predators and to thermoregulate by finding sources of heat in their environment. Pit organs are found in a variety of snakes. They're found in all pit vipers, of course, that's how they get their name. They're also found in many boa constrictors, and they're found in most python species, including this green tree python right here. However, there are of course exceptions to every rule, and the pit organs found in pit vipers versus boas and pythons are structured quite differently, actually. So let's talk about how they differ between snakes. Pit vipers have just a single pit organ located between their nostril and their eye, and this is called a loreal pit organ. Whereas boas and pythons have pit organs located on their upper and sometimes lower lips. These are called labial pit organs. Labial scales are the scales that surround the mouth opening, or in other words, the lip scales. So labial pit organs are just the pits located on the lips, basically. But again, the structure of the pit organ is different between vipers and pythons and boas. In pit vipers, this organ has a membrane that stretches across the opening of their pit. This membrane is covered in heat-sensitive receptors. Behind the membrane is just a little pocket of air, though. But in boas and pythons, their labial pits don't have a suspended membrane at all. Their heat-sensitive membrane lines the inside of all of their pits. This membrane, whether suspended for pit vipers or along the sides of the pits of pythons and boas, is highly vascular, meaning it's also full of blood vessels. These blood vessels transfer oxygen to the heat receptors and help cool them down. If these heat receptors aren't able to cool down almost instantly after they sense something warm, then the snakes would probably see as some sort of after image even after the prey item leaves their sight. So the blood vessels have a very important role in keeping those heat receptors cool. The information collected by the pit organ is sent to the brain of the snake, which is then overlaid with their visual map of their surroundings, which is of course collected by their eyesight. So put two and two together, and snakes with pit organs have both a visual and an infrared view of their entire world. Since we switched snakes, this is our sarong green tree python. We don't have a name for her yet. We can't find a good evil Disney character to name her after, because that's kind of our theme with green tree pythons. So if you have any suggestions, let us know. We already have Cruella and Dolores and Yzma. So, and, uh, and we'll cronk for the male, yeah. But this is a girl, we need another girl's name. So let us know your suggestions. The presence of heat pits in snakes is actually a great example of parallel evolution. This is sometimes confused with convergent evolution, but there's a minor difference. The difference here involves the ancestry of the animals involved. The three basic types of evolution are convergent evolution, parallel evolution, and divergent evolution. Divergent evolution occurs when two species that are very closely related evolve apart from one another. Convergent evolution is when two unrelated species evolve a trait that is very similar. For example, emerald tree boas and green tree pythons aren't very closely related. I mean, one's a boa and one's a python, but they both occupy the same niche in the rainforest environment they live in. So parallel evolution is when two different species with a common ancestor evolve kind of alongside one another the same or similar characteristic. For example, pit vipers evolving their loreal pit organs versus boas and pythons, the ones who have them, evolving their labial pit organs. They have a common ancestor, but they are different species, and they evolve kind of that same trait along the same path. The presence of pit organs is not a very good way, though, to differentiate between boas and pythons. Yes, most pythons do have pit organs. However, woma pythons and black-headed pythons don't have any pits at all. 
Scientists don't quite know why these two species are the only species of pythons that don't have heat sensing pits, but I think the current hypothesis is that it's because these love to eat reptiles in Australia, and reptiles, being a cold-blooded animal, wouldn't show up very well in infrared vision. So we think they maybe just don't have them because it wouldn't help them find their food anyway. It's also pretty well known that a lot of boa species have pit organs, but there are a lot of exceptions with those. For example, common boas, and red-tailed boas, and rainbow boas, sand boas, rosy boas, anacondas, rubber boas, there's a lot of exceptions to the rule that all boas have pit organs. Not all of them do, there's quite a few that have no infrared vision at all. A lot of people always think Doug here, our common boa, has heat pits, but if you take a look, there are no pits to be seen. Sorry, Doug. You only have your vision and your good sense of smell to find your prey. I'm going to end today's video with Popeye, our albino labyrinth mutation Burmese python, which is another snake with a great representation of heat sensing pits. Look at that. Aren't you gorgeous? You're so cute. Thank you to all of our Patreon backers for supporting our channel. You guys are so generous. Thank you. And thank you to everyone just spending your time with us and watching our videos. I hope you learned something new from today's pit organ spectacular video. And if there are any other subjects like specific topics relating to snakes or just reptiles in general, let us know in the comments below. We're always looking for new things to teach you about. So thank you everybody, and we'll see you next time. In boas and pythons, however, their labial pits, the multiple smaller ones on their lips, nice strike there. Oh, you're so scary. Look, we have an E.T. moment. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? All I see are stuffed animals. Yeah, there's only stuffed animals here have them, what they are, oh. She actually bites you? Yeah, she did. Wow. She got my ear. Wow. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll take her back.